Hey, welcome to Media Finance. In this video, I will tell you how can you do to revoke access to your token to different smart contracts on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and Hanko. But not only that, how you can limit the spending of your tokens if you trust on those contracts. If you want to know more, stay on this video. As I told you on the video introduction, we will be able to revoke the access to different smart contracts of your tokens or limit those smart contracts of the usage of your tokens. Okay. Here we can see Etherscan. Okay. And this is the one that we can use for the net, uh, Ethereum network. For Polygon, we can use Polygon Scan. For the Minus Smart Chain, we can use Minus Smart Chain Scan. And for Network uh, Heco chain we can use heco info okay the procedure is basically the same in all these networks the only difference is that the network will be changing and we just need to switch it on metamask so for ethereum we can go to etherscan we go to more and we go to token approvals for polygon we go to misc and we go to token approvals for minus smart chain we go to misc and we go to token approvals and for heco info we go to misc and we go to token approvals the procedure is the same in all these networks, okay? Because basically, Polygon Scan, Minus Smart Chain, all of them are a fork of Ether Scan, okay? So, in any of these, the procedure is the same. So, on this video in particular, we will be using Polygon Scan, okay? The reasons are simple. At this moment, the transactions are very cheap, are fast. And you will be able to see other new things that normally you will not see on the Ethereum network, like changing network, okay? So you can learn a little bit more. So the first thing that we're gonna go do is go to our MetaMask, we copy our wallet address, we paste it, okay? We paste our wallet address, we go to search, and we will be able to see a list. On this list, you will be able to see all those smart contracts that we have been we have given authorization to spend our tokens here we are basically scanning the smart contracts that we have authorized on our address okay i will be explaining you i will be explaining you these fields okay here quickswap is the spender okay so quickswap is the smart contract that is a spender that could use on an unlimited way our USDT. Actually, every time we authorize a smart contract, we normally and unconsciously also authorize them to use on an unlimited way our tokens. If QuickSwap in any way is a bad contract, maybe it could steal our phone somehow, and we don't want that. We want to limit, okay? So that's what we want to look for. On this side, we can see is the contract of, of the USDT token. Probably, in your case, you will be having a very long list, okay? But as a summary, I will tell you. Here, there is the token. Here, the quantity of tokens that it, the, the spender smart contract can use, okay? And here is the contract of that USDT token. As simple as that. Let's imagine that we want to revoke QuickSwap of using our USDT. QuickSwap is a is a platform, okay, that has its own smart contract that is very similar to uh, Uniswap, for instance. So we want to revoke QuickSwap of using our USDT, okay. So basically, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we can go to to the revoke button. So we go to revoke. Uh, sorry, we need to connect. So we go to connect, and then ah, we need to to connect to the Polygon network because no, on basic, on default, we're on the Ethereum network, we changed to Matic network. Now we are on Matic network and what we have to do now is to, um, we have to connect, okay, our, our wallet, our MetaMask. So now we can revoke. So we click revoke, revoke again, and now we have to confirm the transaction. So we confirm and that's it. 
basically we have revoked quickswap to only to use our usdt at this moment quickswap cannot cannot do it let's have a test let's check it so we go here we write our usdt and you will be able to see that now there is a button that says approve usdt because we already revoked quickswap of using or spending our usdt but now how can we do to limit quickswap of using our usdt because we don't want again to give them unlimited access so then we go to approve usdt okay we click it then instead of the, uh, confirming the transaction we're not going to confirm we're going to the button that says edit permission and then we go to what it says custom spend limit here we're going to put the the amount of dollars that we want to limit quickswap okay now this part is a little bit uh tricky so basically i'm going to try to explain you in a in a, on an easier way let me let me go to the to the token so as i said here this is the contract of the usdt so what we're going to do is to uh we're gonna do right click we open on a new tab then we go again and click this this uh this link and then you will be able to see this number six which is actually the number of decimals this is a very important number that we have to remember for this token this usdt token normally that number is 18 but for usdt on this case is six so we go to edit permission we're going to put the amount of usdt we want to authorize let's imagine that we're going to put 1000 okay we put 1000 and then we have to add e for exponential plus and add the number of decimals in this case is six remember on most cases this number is 18 but for usdt in polygon is six so we have to add this exponential plus six in this case in order to limit the uh, amount uh, of tokens at to one thousand dollars okay so we do the confirmation uh, we see receive the confirmation and then we refresh uh, this site and you will be able to see that now we quick swap has an approved amount of maximum one usdt quick swap it cannot spend more than one thousand usdt so once i have done different swaps or different transactions in where quick swap have used one thousand usdt the polygon network is not going to allow that quick swap use any more of my usdt we limited quick swap of using our usdt so as a summary on a very fast way you know how to do on ethereum on polygon on binance smart chain or in heco you know now how to revoke authorization of contracts and also how to limit those smart contracts to use or, or to use your tokens okay basically now we can do that normally i do my videos in spanish this one i did it in english because i didn't find so much information about my post but if you like how i do videos if you like the information i share to you please remember to hit the thumbs up button the subscribe button and the notification bell by this way i will know later that you like my videos in english see you next time